Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. As you can see off camera, I hooked up the other two high humidity planter filters, and now all three of them are all set to get on with the differences in growth between the different substrates. I kept the high humidity planters themselves, though, uh, identical. They're exactly the same shape, size, and everything, and they have the same media in them. I was tempted to put soil in the soil one and put uh, the commercial plant growth substrate in that one as well. But the soil one would have been very problematic and I'd have to obviously add gravel as well, but I suspect it would all just get washed out anyway and it would make a mess of the tank below. And even this one here, uh, the, with all that bubbling, I suspect there would be issues with that as well. And again, I'd have to put gravel on top. I could probably keep this one in, but uh, it wasn't worth it. it just there's going to be enough nutrient from each of those in the aquarium anyway that that little extra bit won't really make any difference. The next step is to put together the in-tank planters and I decided to start off with nine of these so that'll be three for each tank. Uh, part of the reason for that is it is a fair amount of material and also fairly time consuming to put them together as you're going to see here as this goes along and also it will uh, it'll be enough to get it going. Now, one of them is going to have the original experiment replicated. I did it with uh, Valsinaria, so I'm going to have uh, obviously one with gravel, one with soil, and then the other Valsinaria one is going to be in with the plant growth substrate. So I'm going to have actually an interesting comparison between the three, and part of it, of course, is just to see if the original experiment can be replicated. Now. The second planter is going to be Red Luigia because I really like how that one grows with the plant growth substrate and I want to see how it does with the soil especially uh, but also I want to see how it will compare uh, just with plain gravel and that's kind of interesting as a, a group of three experiment that way. Now the last one uh, initially is going to be uh, Cryptocrine. I have a variety of Cryptocrine I've been uh, propagating now for well over 30 years for sure and so I actually don't remember what it's called I think it's Wentai but it's a really nice plant and I want to see how it does with the three different uh, setups as well it grows really well pretty much in anything uh, but it'd be interesting to see if the soil or the plant growth substrate can give it a, a little extra so those are gonna be the original ones I do plan on adding others uh, before I get to that, also that's going to go in these are uh, Java Fern. That's going to be some up in the in the high humidity planter. There's going to be some in the tank. And also I'm going to put in uh, Anubius, uh, mostly because it doesn't need to be planted at all, and I have enough of it here. I do have two different varieties. I have Broadleaf and I have um, Nana Petite, I think it's called. And it'll be interesting to see those as well. Now on top of that, I'm going to put pearl weed up in the planter, and I am going to uh, also put a little bit of Java moss in each of the tanks. Uh, someone requested that, and it's an easy one to do because I have, again, lots of it on hand. Now, as far as all the other plants go, I do want to incorporate some of them in there as well. And the problem with the rest of them is I do have to go and find them. And with the current situations in the world, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I've been actually been finding a number of different fish and stuff locally, and that's kind of cool. So we'll see if I can get uh, you know, some of the requested items as well. The next thing I need to figure out is uh, what fish am I going to put in these tanks. Now I have currently in stock uh, two fish that fit the bill. Uh, First off, they're plant friendly, and secondly, I have propagated enough of them that I can set up the three tanks uh, so that they're relatively well balanced as far as how much biomass is in each tank. And those fish are uh, the platies and the guppies. Uh, to me, it doesn't really matter which one uh, goes in there. So in the comments below, if you have a preference, just let me know, and I will hook up the tanks uh, with whatever fish you guys, well, whatever the majority you guys choose. And the other thing I need to do, of course, is uh, put in the invertebrates. Now, I'm going to go with uh, ram's horn snails, um, because I really like them, and they they don't chew on the plants. Uh, I do have pond snails and a few other varieties, but I'm a little skeptical about them. And then on, on top of that, I am going to put the amphipods, the scuds or gamaris, and 
uh, cherry shrimp, though they are they are no longer red. So that's going to be give me a nice uh, cleaning crew. And other than that, it's just a matter of letting these run their course. I'm not going to fertilize them. I'm not going to add CO2. Uh, they're all getting exactly the same light because they're on the same timer and the same strip goes over all three tanks. So this is pretty much as identical as I can set these up. Uh, there's really nothing else uh, that I can think of. If you guys have another thought on that, definitely let me know below. Uh, they're all going to get exactly the same water changes. Uh, and I do my feeding regime uh, the same for pretty much the whole fish room anyway. And as uh, this progresses, uh, if for some strange reason uh, a particular tank does better for the non-plant life, I'm going to leave that as is because it might just be an aberration, but it may also be a product of the environments that the tanks or the particular media, I should say, are setting up in those tanks. And that will be interesting too. So it's going to be a long run experiment. It's going to probably take anywhere between three and six months, um, but that's not really a big issue. Updates for these are going to be on uh, most likely on Sundays initially. I'll give you a little uh, clip on them as we go along each day, or uh, sorry, each week, and we'll just see how that all goes. So there you go. Nine planters. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, well, put some plants in it. I'm not going to show all of them, uh, but I am going to show the setup, how I'm going to go through each setup for the three different types of media. It's uh, relatively straightforward for the gravel, obviously, just a matter of add water, add plants, and then um, put a little bit of cap of gravel on the top to keep it in place. Uh, the other two are a little messier and uh, a little bit more involved, but it's, it's nothing really odd about either of them. Uh, you've seen me do the soil one already. Uh, I did that with the Valisonary before as well. Uh, that's why I chose Valisonary for uh, this particular setup, just to, you know, because it is uh, the one I did last time. Now the other plants I'm going to do off camera. Uh, there's just no point in doing it on camera. And on Sunday I will probably have all this pretty much set up. Uh, well, obviously there's going to be stuff going to be added as we go along. But I should have at least the initial populations of fish, hopefully, as you guys pick those. And I'll have the other, three, uh, the other two varieties of plants, sorry. And they'll be hooked up in there as well. And I'm going to go through the same process with them as well. It'll be a little less involved, I suspect, with each of those because well, Sanaria is a little bit of an annoying plant to plant because, well, it's it, they have runners and it is difficult to get them to, well, first off, have relatively the same amount of plant in each one. And then on top of that, getting them, as you can see here, to behave themselves while I plant them. Uh, it is. I thought about just snipping them all into individual plants and doing it that way. But that will set this back. Uh, it'll take a little while for them to recover from that. And it was a simpler just to do it this way. And now I snipped them all down so they're relatively the same sized plants. Uh, it's obviously just more guesswork than anything else at this point because I didn't weigh them out. <laughs> I didn't measure them. I didn't go to that sort of length. But if I see as, like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these in the tanks uh, and I'm going to uh, rearrange them a little bit because they'll get knocked loose and stuff. In the next first few, or sorry, in the first few days of this, as it goes forward, if I see that one has, um, you know, got damaged or uh, is has a little bit more plant life in it or whatever, I may make some alterations to this as it goes along. But really, if I don't see a drastic difference, like, I mean massive difference last time it didn't but if uh, it takes something like that for it to be interesting as far as you know warranting you know paying the price for the plant growth substrate i mean that's pretty much what it comes down to but i want to see how it works out so let's we'll do this and as far as this one goes here the soil <laughs> it um uh, it dumps a lot of soil. I mean, it's impossible to plant this, uh, get it arranged, and you can't just stick it right in the aquarium. So I, I have another aquarium, a really large one that's well filtered. I'm gonna dip it in that a couple times, and that before I put it in that actual aquarium. If I don't, the soil just goes everywhere and just makes a mess. The nice thing about the plant growth substrate, it is a little bit more well behaved than that. 
and uh, it only has a, a little bit of that brown material coming off that you can see there but I am going to rinse it in another tank before I put it in as well just to keep everything relatively even. So that's pretty much the end of today's video. I am going to set the rest of these up, get them all in that tank, and on Sunday I'll do you a quick update for all that and uh, we'll hopefully get some fish in by then if you guys have picked those as well. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this style of, of video, please like and or subscribe and definitely leave comments below as to what you think about all this and we'll gradually put this all together and hopefully uh, get some interesting results out of it. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.